Hello, friends. David here. And today, this is my third live broadcast. I like to invite any and all of you to come on board here. And today, I'm going to talk about shipping and sugarcane machines. Because right now, as many of you know, the COVID situation has taken the shipping situation and basically put it into a blender and shipping is more screwed up than ever, every place in the world. So today, what I wanna do is talk to you, the consumer, about what you can do to get the best deal on shipping, to maximize your opportunity when a machine is shipped to you, and some other things to help you navigate the COVID minefield that is happening these days with shipping. Okay, basically, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat this at all. When I talk to you about the shipping process, uh, telling you that it is messed up is uh, it's about as direct as I can get. Now, the the whole thing about the shipping, all right, it's been an accumulative thing, and many things have caused shipping shipping problems around the world, and many of us are aware of them, okay? First and foremost, of course, is the COVID situation. Be it at Long Beach Port in the U.S., there were, you know, there were shutdowns and uh, there were delays because of people that had got COVID, you know? The sheer volume of ships. Before, when a ship would come from Asia, for example, and arrive at Long Beach Port, it would only take like three days. It would have to wait in line to get in and get its containers unloaded. Now, Long Beach Port is doing a million, one million containers a month. Just think, friends, what does that, just think, a 40-foot container times a million. How far would that be in distance? And Long Beach is moving one million TCUs, which is equal to 20 feet uh, so that would be 500,000 40-foot containers in a month they are processing in that port. But because of that, the, the ships that are waiting to unload went from three days to three weeks to a month. You can see online some pretty cool drone shots of the parking lot outside on the Pacific Ocean in Los Angeles there. It is really amazing. And this is the case at ports all around the world, okay? And so there's other things that have contributed. I'm just using Long Beach as an example, but another example is um, the, uh, the shipping in the Suez Canal. You remember the news about that, that ship that got turned sideways and it blocked the Suez Canal for almost a month and that, caused a backload of like 800 ships that couldn't do anything or go anywhere. And so that reverberated out, all right? So for you, the consumer, other than just giving you like bad news today, that ocean shipping is gonna take a lot longer than it normally does, I'm gonna talk to you about how to deal with that and how to turn it into an opportunity, all right? So basically, when it comes to ocean shipping, you want to consider the physical size of your goods and the minimum requirement that the shippers charge for shipping, okay? Here's an example. I have a mighty mini cane machine, a little tiny cute one that's 38 kilograms, you know, fits on every uh, countertop, very small, and it is only about uh, one quarter of a cubic meter in size in its box, okay? that's the in the shipping box. So maybe one fourth or maybe a little less. But when you order a Mighty Mini, for example, and I offer you ocean shipping, you are paying for one cubic meter minimum charge. So if you order something small, you should get it by air freight unless it is extremely dense in weight. Then you need to go by ocean shipping. But for the small sugarcane machines, Mighty Mini, TT750D Pro, uh, these, these machines, 
they are justified to send by air freight because if you send one by ocean freight, you're paying for the one cubic meter charge and you're not even justifying it. So if you're gonna go by ocean, for example, let's use the Mighty Mini as an example, then you would need to order about eight of them to justify the one cubic meter, all right? Can stack them to equal one cubic meter, all right? That is very important to understand, okay? So you want to maximize the space that you're paying for, okay? Now I have a lot of orders for my TT1500 four roller with the rolling stand that has the wheels and the cart under it, and that is one cubic meter. So in thinking, the inside of that machine, it has a door and it has a storage space on the inside. We can fit more goods inside of that space because it's an empty space. So if you order accessories, let's say it is a cup sealer machine, let's say it is an ice shaving machine, let's say it is one of my, uh, you know, the machine that you, uh, or the hand uh, knife that cuts the cane bites. We can put those in the machine for free shipping to you because they will fit. So maximizing your space is very critical to your success, okay? And getting the best deal because prices right now on ocean freight are like this. I mean, they are three times more than they were a year ago and they're due to go up again at the end of July. So it's more important than ever that you guys you maximize your purchase, okay? And you can get free shipping on other items that will fit in the space you're paying for, okay? So if you're ordering something from China, if you're ordering something from Thailand, from Vietnam, from Japan, or wherever in the world, and you are allotted a minimum space of one cubic meter, then you will want to uh, definitely... Um, uh, maximize that, okay? Because you can get free shipping. You're paying for one thing and you have extra space, use it, okay? It's the same thing like when you're traveling with your luggage, you know? You want to get every amount you possibly can get in your luggage when you're traveling by air to maximize the amount of weight that you're allowed. Arthur, I'd like to welcome you here. Thank you very much. Um, where are you, Arthur? Arthur is the first one on. I uh, I cannot pronounce Sisbuwufu. Okay. Thank you, Arthur, for coming on. I appreciate that. So uh, when it comes to the ocean shipping, you want to maximize the amount of space that you're paying for. Okay. So keep that in mind. If you're buying from somebody overseas, you want to ask them, is there any extra space in you know, what I'm paying for, is there any extra space to put more stuff? Because you guys can get pretty cheap things over here, like from me that are, um, you know, that we can include with free shipping. An example is a cup sealer machine, cane knives, uh, special cups, labels, or whatever that you might order. Um, we can put in uh, extra spare parts, we can put in all these things to maximize your uh, opportunity. Okay, hi Arthur, you are in the UAE and you're still awake. <laughs> wow, it must be getting pretty late there. I think you're about seven hours uh, different from me here in Vietnam. And yes, uh, I am uh, working on your, your quotation. Right now the, uh, the uh, the shippers uh, responding to our request for quotes is uh, a little bit delayed. The, the shipping world is, um, there's unprecedented demand. And I'll go back to that. Uh, it's not only because of, uh, strictly because of the COVID, you know, that ports are backed up or the blockage of the Suez Canal with the big ship, but also because of the COVID effect on the world, what do we do more than anything else? We shop online. We go online and we view videos and we view 
online shopping and we buy stuff, you know, we buy a lot of stuff. And this is one of the reasons why there is a lack of containers. Do you know that in the millions of shipping containers that they have around the world, they're a couple million short of what they actually need. And these big shipping companies, they are coming to bat, but it takes a while, but they're ordering hundreds of thousands of new shipping containers to go into the ships. And where I am at right now in Vietnam, I am at a port city at the moment, and I see the container ships going by every day. And I can tell you what, they have everything in service right now. The, the old rusty ones that you, you know, they normally were just parked and they weren't using them. Now they're loading containers on them and using them regionally. And every single uh, big ship is loaded to the max, absolutely maxed out. And it's amazing to see. I have never seen so much action in the shipping world as I see now. But for you, the consumer, you're going to want to know, like, what can you do to get your goods quicker? And is it safe for you to even order by ocean freight these days? Okay, Arthur, it's 5.57 a.m. A good, good morning to you there in the UAE. All right. Thank you so much for being a fan. I appreciate that. And uh, we are working on your quotation that you're waiting for. And thank you so much. So uh, when it comes to the ocean freight, again, friends, maximize your opportunity, okay? The minimum that you're paying for is one cubic meter, okay? One cubic meter of space is what you're paying for and 200 kilograms. So you don't want to order like small things to be shipped by ocean freight and not maximize that space because you're actually ripping yourself off, all right? So you want to maximize your space in every shipment and make sure that you ask the provider of whatever you're ordering, how much space does it take up, okay? Now, uh, some other ways in which you can uh, speed up the the process okay the physical process now it's a traffic jam okay we all have to have patience and wait three times longer than we had to wait a year ago for ocean freight there's no way around that but there's some things that you can do early on when you're ordering your machine that will help speed up the process and one of those it may sound self-serving on my part but it's prepaying for your machine the reason for prepaying for the machine is, let's say we have terms of 70% down and 30% at BL, okay? Those are common terms, but the 30% at BL takes about a week to three weeks longer to process the papers to do that part, the 30% of the deal. So if you have a good trust in your supplier and you got somebody who you know is going to do the right ethical thing for you, you can prepay and that will speed up your shipment to get out of the country to get to you uh, by as much as three weeks. Okay. That is a really important secret to know right there, but you need to be careful. I'm not telling any of you, any of you out there to just go buy from any schmuck out there and, you know, and uh, don't, don't get ripped off, you know, make sure you know who you're dealing with. And uh, this, but prepaying will speed up the process of exporting your, your goods and getting them to you up to three weeks earlier, okay? So I'd like to uh, ask anybody else if they have questions here regarding ocean freight. Ocean freight is a, um, it's been an amazing school for me over the last nine years of being in this business. And I've seen a lot of scenarios, a lot of a lot of things happen. And the one thing I can tell you, and this is uh, really, really good. 100% of my machines have arrived at their destination around the world. And I'm getting over 2,100 machines that I have exported from here in Vietnam. So that's, uh, you know, that it's not really an issue, like if you're going to get your goods or not, but the time. Okay, so let me give you guys a, um, 
like uh, an average time period of when you can get your goods, all right? Uh, right now, shipping from Vietnam to the west coast of the United States, it takes about 40 days for the container to get there and get unloaded, okay? Before, it was 28 days. Now it's 40 days, all right? To uh, the east coast of the United States, you should plan on 50 and even 60 days. As those containers go to the west coast, they get uh, offloaded and put on trains and sent across the country or they're trucked, okay? And that takes about a week for, uh, for them to get to the other side. So uh, west coast, uh, 40 days, and to the east coast, can be 50 or 60 days. So keep that in mind. If you're in the Caribbean, you need to plan on, I know you're not going to want to hear this, but the Panama Canal is like, just look online at what's happening down there. It's, it's, it's incredible. The traffic jam on the high seas is incredible. With the Panama Canal, is slowing everything down to go to the Caribbean. So now, as of this date, on uh, July 15th, 2021, you need to plan for about 70 days, seven zero, all right? I know you guys don't wanna hear that, but it is what it is. Uh, right now, we only have Arthur on, and thank you, Arthur. You are, uh, you are my one. What I've been doing here, by the way, with these live is um, I've been testing the waters to see like how many people are on or, um, you know, instead of like scheduling one in advertising uh, when I'm going to be on, I just jump on to see how things are. And most people find the videos eventually too. The fans, they, they tune in and they see I have a new live video and they upload. So any of you that are just getting on right now, my live video here is about shipping, namely ocean shipping around the world and how to deal with the COVID effect on shipping, which is delay, okay? Maximize your shipping, maximize your opportunity and do whatever you can to get your goods as soon as possible, all right? So this is what I am teaching you here. By the way, Arthur, I just sent a TT1500 to Uganda yesterday. It's arriving on the 30th of uh, September is the schedule. So uh, I just sent one there. Yeah, and I, I'm really uh, grateful to my customer. They got the cutest name, Flying Squirrels Limited in, uh, in Uganda. What a cute name. And I know you have flying squirrels there, you know, amazing creatures. So that's a good opportunity to talk about shipping the goods to the African continent, okay? If we're shipping to East Africa, it's faster than shipping to West Africa because from here in Vietnam, the goods all go to Singapore. Then they get on ships that go across the Indian Ocean to get to Africa. And uh, so if you're uh, in Dar es Salaam, that's a common place we ship, or Mombasa, uh, that shipping time right now is about 45 days, 45 days to uh, Dar es Salaam or Mombasa. Okay, if you are in West Africa, if you are in Ghana, Nigeria, if you are in uh, Togo, for example, then the shipping time is 70 days. It's got to go through the Suez Canal near Gibraltar, turn left, and you know, it's a long, long ways. All right, so uh, just keep that in mind if you're uh, in that part of the world. Uh, Europe is pretty close to the time of the East Coast of the United States. Shipping the machines to Europe right now is about um, uh, 45 to 60 days, okay? It's always better to go on the conservative figure, you know, the higher number, because uh, what's happening in the shipping world now is uh, take your breath away. And I know a lot of you, uh, especially in the U.S., you're seeing the effect that's happening. And uh, this is something I want to tell you guys, if you are like thinking to buy a sugarcane machine and you know, you're delaying, don't delay. Friends, massive inflation is coming. And I'm not saying that like to predict doom, it's reality. And how 
I know that is the situation with the shipping that's going on. There are delays everywhere. Okay. So if you're sitting on the fence and you got the money to order and you're hoping like the price is going to go down, I can tell you right now, and I don't want to be like, you know, a messenger of doom, but I can tell you right now, the prices are not going to go down until at least after 2020, 2022. Okay. And that's simply because the shippers have us by the, you know what I mean? The shippers, the shippers are, uh, I wish there was a world shipping court, you know, that where we could uh, make the shippers like uh, not gouge, but they, they're, they're gouging friends. I mean, like more than ever. And that's because more goods than ever are being ordered and making people like Jeff Bezos and the other uh, online uh, shopping network owners, you know, look at their wealth. Incredible. Okay. And it's just the way it is. So, all right. I'd just like to go back to uh, uh, tell you all when it comes to shipping, number one, find out the physical size of the crate that you will be buying with the machine in it and find out if there's any extra space on the inside so that you can put in other items that you need that you would be ordering in the future and you can get free shipping on those by putting them inside the empty spaces of what you're paying for. So you want to be a good steward of your money, you know, and you want to maximize your purchase. And that is to include anything. And that can also be for air freight items as well. Um, there are spaces that we have on the sugarcane machines where other things can fit. And it doesn't even increase the physical size, although the weight can be increased. But to give you an example, the motor compartment of a TT1500 tabletop uh, in that compartment can be fit all kinds of spare parts, the cane cutting knife. Um, I've uh, sent the, the tea bags, the space saving uh, bags that... Uh, T-shaped bags for carrying cups and they use less plastic and earth friendly kind. Uh, I've been able to put those inside of the motor compartments of the machine. So there are, uh, there are ways. So maximize the space that you're paying for number one. All right. And the other thing is if you're going to pay ocean freight and it's from somebody who you trust and know prepay by prepaying, you can increase the speed by about three, three weeks. Okay. It will, it'll uh, speed up the process during this time. Okay. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about ocean freight here in this beautiful backdrop. I have committed myself uh, to do as best as possible to give you guys some good, you know, good things to look at when I make these live videos. And, uh, if you have any questions, friends, you can leave them in the comments below. And if you're new here to David's Cane Machines on YouTube, please uh, leave your comments below and I will definitely get hold of you. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell. All right, Arthur, you have a good day in the UK and uh, I look forward to uh, serving you. Thank you again, everyone. I will be back in a new live video coming real soon. Have a great day or night wherever you are.